In this video, we're going to learn how to print the first letter of each word in a string using C. So if we have a car array called string, which stores the string high definition multimedia interface, the first letter of each word in this string will give us HDMI. To solve this problem, we'll include a few libraries to help us. Up here, we'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to find the length of the string. We'll also include the ctype library because this library includes a function called isalpha, which will let us know if a character is alphabetic or not. We'll also include the stdbool.h library so we can use the bool type and the values true and false. Now to solve this problem, we're going to have a loop counter variable go through the string one character at a time, from the first character in the string all the way up until the last character in the string. The first thing we'll do is call the string length function strlen and we'll pass it the string. This is going to return the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. We'll store that string length into a variable of type int called length. Then we'll create a loop with a counter variable i that's going to go from zero up until, but not including length, by one with each loop iteration. So i is going to be used to access each character in the string one at a time in order with each loop iteration. So in the first loop iteration, when i is zero, i is going to be used to access this first index of the string array. Then in the next loop iteration, when i is one, i is going to be used to access this next index of the string array, and so on up until i is equal to length minus one, which is where the last character in the string is stored. Now what we'll do is analyze the string one character at a time. And we'll assume that words are made up of only letter characters and that non-letter characters, like for example, this space character here, are what separate words. We'll have a Boolean variable that keeps track of whether we're currently reading a word or not. And initially that variable is going to be false because initially we're not reading anything. So we'll have here bool and we'll have reading word is equal to false. So this variable is going to keep track of whether we're currently reading a word or not as we read through the string one character at a time. Now initially it's false because initially we haven't read any characters yet. And what we'll say is if we haven't been reading a word, so if we haven't been reading a word, in other words, if not reading word is true, and the character in the string at the index i, in other words, the character we're currently reading is an alphabetic character, then this letter must be the first letter of a new word we can check if this character is an alphabetic character by using the isAlpha function in the ctype library. So if we pass the character to the isAlpha function, this function is going to return true if this character is a character from A to Z, whether it's uppercase or lowercase. And what we'll do is in this case that we've now identified the first letter of a new word, we're now going to set reading word equal to true because the idea is we're now actually reading a word from the string. And we'll also output the character because the character is the first letter of a word. So we'll have printf with percent %c to output a character, and we'll output the character in the string at the index i. So in the first loop iteration, when reading word is set to false, not reading word is going to be true. And the first character in the string is an alphabetic character, so is alpha is going to return true. So this here is going to be true and true, and then this if statement body is going to execute. And we're going to set reading word to true to acknowledge that we are currently reading a word and we'll also put the character. Now at this point, because reading word is true, this here, not reading word, is going to be false. And so this if statement body is not going to execute. What we want to do now is as we read through the string one character at a time, we want to acknowledge when we've reached the end of the word. That's going to occur when we read a character that is not alphabetic while we are reading a word. So if we have here, else if, and we have while we're reading a word, if we then encounter a character that is not alphabetic, we've now reached the end of the word. So we'll have here, and not is alpha, and we'll have string at the index i. And in this case, we're going to set reading word 
back to false because at this point, we're no longer reading a word. So if you look at how this is going to play out, after the first loop iteration, reading word is going to be set to true. So we're not really going to be considering this condition here, but because reading word is true, we are going to look at this condition here. Now, reading word is going to be true, but this right-hand side here, not is alpha string at the index i, that's not going to be true until we encounter the first character that is not alphabetic. So as we continue to read through the string one character at a time, we're going to encounter this character here, which is not alphabetic. At that point, we set reading word to false, and we no longer consider ourselves to be reading a word. So then when we read in this next character here, capital D, reading word is false, so not reading word is true. And again, we have that is alpha is going to return true for this character, and we'll put that character then we're going to continue to read through the word one character at a time until we reach this white space character here and it's going to continue like that we'll put a new line character down here after the loop is done its work and then we'll save compile and run our program and we get here hdmi which is the first letter of each word in the string high definition multimedia interface so this is how we can print the first letter of each word in a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.